tool, the student will actually be able to notice that they are hitting harder right. without using strength, pure mechanics. And that's what level two and the guidance of level two will get you to develop. Level three, can you take what you learned in level two and start applying it in different places? Right. Because if you can't, then what was the point of learning it in just this one spot? Then you're limited to just using it at this range for this one idea. So let's take that a step further because um, I, I want everybody to see how far that actually really goes. Mm. Right, uh, there, there's a drill out there called Sombrata, um, and it's a basic one for one. Yes, counter for right? counter. You know, counter for counter, but it's a set pattern, yes. meaning it's structure, right? So we'll do that structure for a second, right? right? And it literally, it's just this, and this is all we're doing, right? right. But how then, we, how then do we go to variation, mm. right? But maintaining the tempo and the rhythm and everything else. But in variation, what are we doing? We're, we're changing something. Changing something. All right, so he's going to change something. <laughs> and usually we recommend that the students go through at least one cycle before they change something along the line. Good. Um, where does that happen? When, when do you make those things happen? Is that just something that you come up with as far as your own variation or because of the way you're understanding variation? Well, it's the way that I understand variation and, and the purpose of, of why we do it. If you're able to do something and you understand it well within the realm that you learned it, say our 1 and 11 or even our Sombrata drill, then it stands to reason that if your understanding is true, then that understanding can be carried to other places. Right. And the way we explore that is by instructing the students that as soon as they can, get out of the sequence. Right. Whether it is to completely stop it and say, for example, we do sombrata, and I'm here, I'm stop it, and then I do my part. Your part completely ended, which means I killed the drill. The drill is back and forth. Right. Okay? And if you can do that in all the places, then that means that you can change it and still keep going. The first step would be, can you break away from it? The second step is, can you break away from it and then go back to it? Right. <clears throat> cool. And it has to carry the understanding. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it. You're going to be lost. Right, you'll be flowing everywhere. Exactly. But along with that is that can you carry the understanding of not just that particular drill, right. but everything else that you've learned up until that point, can you incorporate it <coughs> into that variation? Oh, show me an example, sir. <laughs> so we're going to transition. See if you can catch these transitions there. <laughs> Again, you want to cycle through first. Some brother, wow, how did you get here? Whoa, <laughs> this guy's cheating. And good, goodness, this guy's trying to hurt me. Crazy. <laughs> well, that was kind of cool. I mean, well, that was actually four different other exercises that we right. incorporated into the movements. And we have to let them know that this is not a choreographed thing that we do, is it? Oh, yeah, no, this wasn't practiced and or something that we do on a regular basis. The focus and the emphasis then becomes the lesson itself. Why would we do something like this that isn't choreographed? Well, first of all, those were four separate exercises. And those four are extra, like our sombrata, they are choreographed. There's a set pattern. They're structured. They're structured. But <coughs> we don't use them as a sense of let's learn the structure and make them look really good. No, let's use that structure so we can implement ideas, concepts, that would be found in variation. And then you start to realize where the obvious variation could be right. inserted. Right, oh, I could change it right here. 
and you find those things along yeah. the ways. Because if we go even back to the original example of <coughs> 1 and 11, right. our 1 and 11 is here. Right. Well, one of the questions we ask our student is, how many times did I hit you? Uh, once. <laughs> I but think. if we talk about the idea of the, the orientation of just like the weapon. So, if I put a blade in my hand and I do the same motion, how many times did I hit you? Once. <laughs> <laughs> once with the puño. Oh, okay. Once with the tip, then with the blunt side, and then with the puño again. So, once. <laughs> <laughs> so, every four different yeah. things. Four different places, right. Because depending on the range, I can hit you with all of these different, different ideas. Things. But it's still just that one motion. Same motion. Exactly. That's amazing. So if you can understand that it is just the motion, well, then if the motion's up here, oh, well, I know I the same motion here, now it's just to the side. Okay, well, this motion here, that's our nine. Oh, well, it's opposite of the three. Oh, okay, I can do it here, or I can do it here. Right. There is no limitations to where and when you can do it, right. which means you can implement it at any point. Now, again, do you understand the exercise well enough that you can implement those things within the same tempo? Right, right. And, and, I, and I think that's, that's the coolest part is that you start to understand not just the movements, the individual pieces of those movements, right. but you also start to understand tempo, rhythm, timing. Yeah. And all the things that are involved in that. Because I think uh, Master Giron said, you know, I can't teach you how to be fast, yeah. but I can teach you rhythm and timing. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Master Giron. Thank you. <laughs> and these are the things that you start developing. But again, it, these become vehicles not so much to learn them and make them look good, but vehicles to learn different ideas such as rhythm and timing. Right. Because you need to know and have an understanding of, okay, can I jump in and out of things? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's that ultimately becomes the thing that you're trying to do. Oh, well, yeah, because <laughs> as things progress and as we put down our sticks and we pick up knives, oh, oh, oh knives. Inherently, the range has changed. Oh, yeah, because I can't get anything from out here. Nothing. So we have to be this close. And it's still yes. one. Oh, look, the same exercise that we were just doing. But the focus is different. It is. Because right. now the blade orientation now we're cutting the hand makes more sense. You're cutting here, more. Cutting here, cut there, cut there, cut there. I can even change the angle in which I attack. Nice. <laughs> but really, what did change other than the weapon itself? Nothing. <clears throat> the motions were still there. It was still ones, elevens nines, threes, and a thrust. Why? Because you understand the tool in your hand. That's all you really can do with a knife. Slice and stab. Again, the purpose isn't to teach the technique, but in understanding of what it is you have in your hand and what you're capable of doing because the human body can only really go right to left, left to right, it can go high, it can go middle, it can go low. Right. That's it. Other than that, there's not much else that you can do. But if I force you to do something stringent that your body isn't capable of doing, are you going to stick with it? Probably not. No. Just even, ah, why bother? You're going to give up on yeah. it. But if we can simplify things to such a degree, like the levels of understanding, to go gross motion. Right. Gross motion. All right. Well, yeah, I can go left to right. Yeah, there's nothing to it. It's easy. All right. Well, now let me put a blade in your hand. Oh, I don't want to stab myself. Okay, maybe I should. I should be more cognizant of the details and okay uh, I should do a full chamber well do I need to go this high up with a knife well, not necessarily but I have the power if I need to because I developed it with the sticks already right. now this just becomes a tool now what happens if I hold it this way ah the orientation change but oh there's Still my puño my one and eleven so oh. <laughs> now my my one going up is a cut okay well what if I want to cut on the way down oh I just have to switch to the other side. <coughs> oh, okay, cool. So now I attack you this way. Oh, I can cut. Oh, now I got it. Now I change orientation and I cut as I track. But what was that? It was just <coughs> one, 11, back into a one. Amazing. And it became that. But again, was that something we practiced? Something we said, all right, today I'm going to teach you how to hook somebody in the back of the head and cut your throat. No, we never taught that as a technique. 
It's just an understanding of what I doing? can do with those motions, with those motions. and, and where becomes. my opponent is yeah. in the process of that. Again, it's about understanding what's in front of you. At the beginning, it's just you and a stick. Your opponent doesn't matter. Eventually, once you get the motions down, Ooh, excuse me. Once you get the motions down, burrito. No, no. Oh. Mimosas. Mimosas. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't bring me any, that's why. Oh, no, no. Okay. You didn't like it, so that's right. Yeah, I'm not going to offer you anymore. That's right. So no more liquor for you. Um, <laughs> I forgot where I was. Damn, you're showing me something with a knife. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> we didn't teach the actual technique, but again, you, you understand first. With, you develop things with uh, the long stick so you can see the reference you can get all the ideas behind it we can correct the things right. which is why we emphasize that it's a tool it's a learning tool just like this it's a learning tool right. because at the end of the day are you even going to have a knife some people do yeah. a lot of people don't you're definitely not going to have a stick you're definitely not going to have a stick and you're most definitely not going to have a sword with <laughs> you so then if you don't understand how the stick to the blade to the knife happens if your teachings aren't geared for you to understand that transition which again for us it's the very same motion then you're limited to only doing what you can actually do and not what you can then create develop or create develop. Develop. yeah that's amazing because we take the blades away yeah. well i give them a one. Oh, look at that if we break it down and mind you this is not a technique. He did what felt natural to him at that moment, at that time. But because we understand well enough everything he learned prior to getting to here, we know that he parried with an 11. He came up like as he's chambering his one. And then he came down with, with a one, one. Using the elbow. Using the elbow. <laughs> Why? Because if you take the idea of blade orientation and you apply it to your arm, Here's my blade. Here's the tip. If I close my fist, my tip is now here. Here's my puño. Here's my flat sides, whether it's the length of the arm or the other side. But it has all the same ideas and criteria that you would with the longer blade. And because the understanding's there, I give you something, gives me something else, and now I use the blade of my arm to hit. <coughs> And why is this hand constantly doing something as well? Well, like I said at the beginning, we teach our students to not just practice with the right hand, but also their left. So then you're ambidextrous because you're, nobody's going to fight like this. We're not Neo. We can't just one-handed stop everybody. I'm close. You're close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 nowhere near. <laughs> Which means... To be more effective in being able to protect yourself, you, have to be you need all your tools available to right. you. And if all your tools are nothing but a stick, because that's all you learn how to do is to swing a stick, right. and you don't have it, you're how useful to, is it? Yeah, you're, then you become very limited to what you can. Oh well, yeah. Well, I don't. I don't have the right weapon. I don't have my weapon. <coughs> well, then what good is it that you use if? you're not most likely going to have those things. Right. But if I teach you how to understand you, because if you haven't noticed, folks, the idea of the motions have to boil down to the individual student. Because I can talk about mechanics all day. I can talk <coughs> about the joints and things like that. But again, if I can't do it, you can't do it. I can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> right. But if you understand that all you are doing is trying to maintain some sort of structure that fits your body type right and you develop that well then that's that's what you can you're always going up. to be strong all right well i'm gonna let you get back to your level four of understanding Have oh fun. <laughs> <laughs> well folks uh level four if you want to rewind is pretty much this whole video because this is my understanding of what was given to me this is my retelling of the information that I've gained. The things that I've said are what I find to be important, what need to be said in order for this to come across to other people. That's my level four. This is where I can then see, okay, am I missing anything? If I'm teaching somebody something and it doesn't look right, well, what did I miss? What didn't I say or what am I not remembering that would make that more effective? 
So level four then becomes this way to really challenge yourself to say, do I really know what the hell I'm talking about? Or am I just talking out of my ass and winging it as I go? But if you can see the results, if you can see that this individual, whoever your student in front of you is, or group, really latched on enough to say, I get it. I get it, I can start using it, then you did your level four right. But even if you don't, it's an opportunity to grow within yourself to really evaluate what it is that you know and what you wish to do with it. Because that's gonna lead you to your level five. You, as the individual, how do you do things for yourself? How do you move? How do you equate the things that have been taught to you into what it is that you need to do? Rick, would you like to join me here? Because I'd like to show these people what my level five has become. Hello again. To... Hello again. Do I need a weapon? I would a say tool. so. <laughs> my tool. Of all the things that I've learned, all the ideas, and mind you, what we're going to do right now is a free form flow. There is no choreograph. We're not going to try to... This is going to hurt. Yeah, I know. We're not going to try to do anything, <coughs> anything that isn't beyond what we understand and what we've been talking about here. But it's going to come out how it's going to come out. If I give him something, oh, sorry, respect, yeah. respect. He's going to take care of it. I give him something else. He's taking care of everything that he's doing. He's moving to his needs. And I'm... Amazing! And because this is just a tool, when it became a hindrance to me, I let it go. I'm not married to the stick because I'm not learning, I'm not teaching people how to swing sticks. I'm teaching them motions that they can then adapt and weaponize, as Danny likes to say, to whatever it is they need. So I let it go and I started using my hands, my elbows, my knees, because all these are the things that I've developed is the understanding of what I am capable of doing with these motions far more than any technique. I'm impressed. Uh, your level five is pretty good. Thank you. I wish I could be there when I grow up. Folks! Inside this. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally, I'm only 12 years old. At least that's what Melba says. <laughs> and she's usually right. Um, yeah. This was some good stuff. Let me bring the chairs back so we can sit down yeah, and have yeah, a yeah. short conversation on this. Excuse us. Steve, we'll right back. Wow, and we're, we're here. back. Hey, um, that was some really good stuff. I'm really impressed. I, I think um, you, you really gave a, a pretty good understanding of your five levels of understanding. <laughs> <laughs> you know. and it sounded weirder than I, you said. I'm like, it makes sense, but it doesn't sound right. Yeah, yeah. A good understanding of of your levels of un of understanding. Understanding. <laughs> All right. So you know, obviously we don't script anything because otherwise this wouldn't be in here. <laughs> um, I I do like the notion that you know we did this within an hour. Yeah, we did, and we gave a pretty at least I I thought that was a pretty in depth idea. Of and keep in mind. This idea came about about an hour and five minutes ago. So, yeah, yeah, it wasn't like something we planned or could have planned. We don't do that. No, we don't. Our Which show is, is weird that way. We have to emphasize that sometimes because I feel like... People think we choreograph and yeah, practice and do all no, these things. Yeah, we're... No, we don't. We don't. It's off the cuff as much as we can. Um, and, and I think that speaks of how we really teach our system is exactly the way we talk about the show and, yeah and the way I, we do the show the yeah. show is the show is really geared for the way we teach our classes where we just talk about whatever and anything um you know even with our guests well yeah. at the end of the day you have to stay true to yourself right and and i think that's what we we that's where we flourish you know we we do that so well that the conversation just become a, a fun thing of right. some people just sitting on chit chatting. Yeah, yeah, just shooting the shooting the, the shit, shooting <laughs> the shit, as it were. <laughs> well, folks, <laughs> oh, we're gonna end it yeah. here because this th this was actually a lot of fun. Uh, 
I've actually learned a lot. Thank you very much. Good job. You know you taught me everything, right? I know. So how do you... How do you well, you know, and it's awesome or it's funny how you say that. Because here's the thing, folks. Yes, I taught him everything he knows. But the way he explained it to you just now in this video is not the way I taught it. Nope. Which, which is your level five of understanding and how you come about what you say, how you say and what you show. Dude, I barely remember one word in the teachings that you give me, let alone right. the whole, you know, gambit of what you said. <laughs> but that's it's like seven years ago. But that's exactly what the blade of mind becomes, isn't it? It becomes your own personal understanding and right. your own personal travel and journey into where you are now. Right. Because regardless of what it is that you learn, I don't care what it is, with scholastics, martial arts, uh, your job, yeah. you are <clears throat> always going to put your twist on it. No matter how traditional you believe yourself to be, yeah. your influence into it's anything you do always going to be there right and it's always going to change it could be slight maybe just the way that you deliver the information but it's still a change and that means it's still just you, know, you. It, it goes back to where everybody you know he has that signature move right but that signature move was based on something that was taught to him that doesn't even look like that but it's exactly. just the way he does it and that works it became, <laughs> it became his signature yeah. move right <laughs> So that yeah, that that's what I like in all of this too is that that becomes your signature style, your, your way be. of doing things. Yeah. You know, your bladed mind is nowhere near what my bladed mind looks like. No. And I'm nowhere near where Danny looks. You no. know, and we're all that different. And that's one of the, the, the unique things about all of our students. Yeah. Is that they are their own individual, which is awesome. Because then they grow in their own way. Right. And and I, and I think it's it's inevitable, but if you can culture it, right. well then they can do it better. Right, then it becomes their own. Yeah, then then it's they more do it effective. Their way. Exactly, yeah. they do it their way. Well, good. Well, let, let's go ahead and conclude the show for today. All right, thank um, you guys. This for has us. been Kali conversation with me, Rick, and me, Nain. And thank you guys very much. You guys have a wonderful day. Ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was scripted. <laughs> <laughs>